Hey guys, real quick, I just want to review with you about plot charts and plot diagrams and how we do that. Now we covered this in the first quarter at the very beginning of the year. We talked about this a lot. So I'm just going to be real quick in reviewing for you to, to help trigger your memory and get you started on your assignment for the week. So we have the exposition. That's where we meet our characters and we get important background information. Next, moving on up the mountain, we have rising action. These are the events that usually happen early on in the story. They're the events that build toward the part number three climax climax is the often the most suspenseful part of the story but my favorite definition of climax is the turning point this is the point where the uh, action stops rising and it starts falling this is when we start building towards our resolution so for hatchet we could argue basically two different points where the climax happens in hatchet the first argument would be um, that it happens when he builds the fire and really starts becoming new Brian. And everything after that is kind of building towards the res resolution of his survival. The other option is the moment when he decides to build the raft and head out to go get the survival kit. That that is really a pivotal moment. It could be considered the climax. So basically you could choose any of those two options and you would probably be right for the climax. Then we've got falling action. We're falling down the rest of our plot chart. These are the events that happen after the climax, but build towards our resolution. So our character is still developing. Even though we've hit our climax, our character is still making decisions, still having a few different events that kind of lead towards the final resolution, which for example, in Hatchet would be Brian being rescued. So the resolution would be the end of all conflict. And that is the plot chart.